Uh, hey everyone, welcome back to 360 Everyday Sports. Today we are diving into one of the most controversial figures in sports media, Skip Bayless. He's been fired from FS1 ended, and he started his own show injuries. and has some strong words for the sports media world. But we're going beyond the surface to uncover the truth behind his fallouts with FS1, Shannon Sharp, Stephen A. Smith, and his future in the industry. You're not going to want to miss this. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on our latest deep dives into the world of sports. Let's get into it. I am so happy! No more bad shows for me on Undisputed. Skip Bayless, the man, the myth, and the media's most polarizing figure. After being fired from FS1, Skip wasted no time launching his own platform. The Skip Bayless Show where he's finally free to speak on any topic, with no fear of suspension or backlash. But let's not forget, this is the same man who sparked outrage for over a decade. Johnny Manziel will become even bigger in the city of Cleveland than his buddy and business partner LeBron James ever was in the city of Cleveland. You're going to tell Hollywood. me that Tim Tebow Tim deserves Tebow's to be a bigger draw than Kobe Bryant is than right Kobe now. Bryant? He's a bigger draw than Kobe he's Bryant. He's a bigger Yeah! Go to break. Feel free to laugh at this. But why does Skip Bayless inspire so much hate? Is it his relentless criticism of certain athletes? His inability to back down? Or is there something else at play? Many believe Skip plays the villain role perfectly, but is that by design or has the media manipulated our perception of him? Now you want to trash talk me, which is totally cool with me. I am not coming on your show, Skip. I'm going to keep skipping past you just like everybody else skipped on you because that show is dead. No one wants to hear you talk anymore. In the words of Richard Sherman, I am better than you. I'm better. You know, everybody know I hate Skip Bayless because I think Skip angry. Bayless is not one of my favorite people. I can imagine. Okay. One thing is certain. The media loves to hate Skip. His controversial takes generate headlines, drive ratings, and get people talking. But the tension doesn't stop at his bold opinions about athletes. Skip has had some real issues with his colleagues and perhaps none bigger than the conflict with Shannon no, Sharp. No, no, I resent that. I do, I seriously, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding, I don't like that. Skip, don't resent. You, you, you crossed the line. Skip, I, I'm sorry, Skip. I don't talk to anybody. You get I have never spoken one word to Tom Brady. For a few years, Shannon Sharp and Skip Bayless went head to head as co-hosts on Undisputed. The tension between them was palpable, and eventually it boiled over. Many speculate that Shannon's departure to start his own show, Club Shay Shay, and New Venture Nightcap was rooted in a personal fallout with Skip. But is there more to the story? Could FS1 have fanned the flames between the two in pursuit of ratings? Ladies and gentlemen, this is officially my last day at work. After seven years, the train stops for Shannon Sharp and Undisputed right here. Shannon Sharp wasn't the first to split with Skip, though. Before that, there was Stephen A. Smith, another fiery personality who partnered with Bayless during the early days of First Take. The two shared incredible success, but the relationship, as Stephen A. has hinted, wasn't as smooth behind the scenes. Did these clashes with co-hosts reveal something deeper about Skip's approach to the media? Stephen A. Smith has acknowledged that his friendship with Skip Bayless remains intact, but tensions in the workplace led them down different paths. The question is, does Skip thrive in conflict or does he just burn bridges with every co-host he works with? Now that Skip has left behind the restrictions of corporate media, he's more unfiltered than ever. On the Skip Bayless show, he's not holding back, and that might make him even more polarizing. Will he finally be able to shed the image of the most hated man in sports media? Or is this his final evolution? Skip Bayless, the ultimate villain. Here's my take. Skip Bayless thrives on controversy. And with no network controlling him, the stakes are higher than ever. I say what I see. And now I will do that completely on steroids. Here we go. This is the Skip Bayless Show. And this is a monumental day for me. A, a, a Cowboys just won the Super Bowl kind of day for me. 
His unfiltered takes could either revolutionize sports commentary or push him even further into the role of the bad guy. One thing's for sure, though. Skip's future will be one to watch closely. Will his newfound freedom lead to more controversy? Or could it solidify his legacy in a whole new way? Now you tell me, what do you think? Will Skip's new platform allow him to thrive, or is this the beginning of the end for him? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your take. If you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with other sports fans who love a good debate. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our next breakdown of the biggest names and hottest topics in sports. Thanks for watching, and if you want to dive deeper into more sports-related, check out the next videos. I'll see you in the next one.